I ain't saying you can't do what you want to do. I just ain't going for it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with another motherfucking video. All right. Um, I hope you guys are looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. I need to drop my collection. I am way past what a collection drop is, okay? Couture Love is centerfold because it's, it, it's time to be centerfold. And I need to drop the next catalog. But that's neither here nor there, okay? Let's get into this reading for my Scorpios. I love you guys so much. I love the time that we spend with each other. I don't know if you know this, but I keep coming back. <laughs> All right, Scorpios, so let's get into it. Um... Yeah, I listened to other tarot card readers and one of the readers did a reading the other night. <sighs> Y'all, I'm like, please don't let this be about me. <laughs> okay. All right, Scorpios, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for my Scorpios right out the day. Okay, somebody want to come over there, you know what I'm saying? It's just a quality time with your motherfucking ass. Bonding, um, you know, confunding. Somebody wants to confide in you, Scorpio. Um, they want to bond with you. They want to open up to you. They want to share intimate, dark secrets with you. Okay. Somebody want to read with you. Okay. Who go over there coming over there to read with you? And they go over there coming over Netflix and chill. They ain't reading. That nigga don't read books. I'm just playing. All right. So yeah, somebody wants to be intimate with you. They want to have some intimacy with you. They want to chill with you on a sofa. Who want to chill with you on a sofa, Scorpio? They do. Okay, so intimacy is the first thing. Maybe you want some intimacy. Maybe you ain't got nobody to chill with you on the phone for damn. Okay, it didn't come out in reverse though. This does mean somebody wants to come over there and they want to read with you, or you want to bring your shit over somebody's house and go read over there. Okay, this girl playing though. She came to fuck. So somebody is lying and saying they want intimacy because this nigga trying to read. You know what I'm saying? And she like, uh uh, look at me. Uh uh, bitch. Trying to take that nigga off from reading. Somebody a distraction. Cloud and judgment, yep. Okay, so Scorpio, I'm telling you, somebody gonna try to come over there, act like and they want intimacy, but they really wanna fuck. They really wanna fuck, you know? This is an illusion. Don't let this motherfucker cloud your head up, okay? This nigga is unbalanced and very destroyed, okay? Now, with this, it says cloudy judgment. I mean, this also could mean your intimacy or your light energy will help somebody break their cloudy judgment, okay? Because somebody has a lot of illusions about how the world is like horrible and bad things happen and it's dark and it's creepy. I'm, where the fuck are we going with this reading? <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, because I've seen the Crypt Keeper. Oh my God, and I just don't want to see the Crypt Keeper. I hated that, that Tales from the Crypt show. I did. I really hated that thing, okay? And it had one hair coming out of it. Anyway what i just seen something scorpio okay so either somebody's hairline is really messed up or somebody's hairline is not real that's not really their hairline if they spray it on or something i that is a weird that is a weird that is a weird thing for them to tell me. Okay. All right. So we got intimacy. So somebody's intimacy could really help somebody come out of a cloudy judgment uh, part in their life. It could bring them out of a dark illusion or something that's very unbalanced and destroyed. Because somebody just sees their life as destroyed. But if they would just have something light or enjoy some kind of intimacy, things will be a little bit better for them. Okay. But don't be this person's fucking shining light normal. It's, it's, it's important for other people to know they got to go outside. You know, it's not your job to, you know, make somebody fucking come out of a cave, okay? And that's the truth. Somebody just text me. Um, let me see. Somebody likes being around you because you give them energy, okay? This is somebody who's exhausted, so you got to be careful. So whoever this is, they're always busy, always depleted, always doing something. It's always a long journey, just moving, 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 okay? Exhaustion, okay? But when this person comes to you, they just get to relax, okay? They get to enjoy intimacy. But this person feels like doing that clouds their judgment. This is weird as a motherfucker, okay? So let me break this down to you like this. Somebody thinks it's your peace. Somebody feels like when they're around you, they feel filled up. Okay. I heard Whitney Houston, you feel me up. Okay. And they don't feel depleted or anything like that. Okay. But they do feel like being around you clouds their judgment because they like you. 
okay or they're interested in you or they want to fuck with you and they don't they don't want to be all intimate like that okay but it's on the board and it's the strongest card out so intimacy is what is being put on the table here okay and they feel like when you're intimate with somebody where you hang out and you chill you know what i'm saying because this girl is not dressed in no nasty ass clothes she's not baiting this nigga she just wants to play with this nigga okay because she ain't got the titties out and you got to pay attention to how people are dressed when you be around them okay neither one of these people they, they really are just hanging out with each other all right and that's gonna really fill somebody up that's been on a very long journey of just being depressed or drained or just overly worked or i don't know what the fuck this is it says long journey drained and departed and de you just bullshit okay somebody has a dumb ass perception that intimacy is bad and it clouds your judgment when love is the only reason you're here you dumb motherfucker all right and reason why your life is fucked up probably is because you don't have no goddamn love in it <laughs> okay like love is a beautiful thing if it's truly love now if you got lust in your life yeah it's gonna it's that plug up is gonna be fucked up that plug up could give you a flat tire you'll see things probably you'll see problems happening in your life you know what i'm saying abruptly happening you like where this come from you going the wrong way redirection is needed all right it says have faith i don't know who this is all right, so this is somebody who probably don't believe in faith. They're like, man, God ain't watching me or ain't nobody got my back or I don't know who the fuck this person is, okay? This person does feel like it's really safe to love you. You know, they do feel like, you know, they do need to open up their heart to you and give it to you because the height, like, what, I just said this. I just said this. I said the highest energy of all is love. Literally, this is somebody who don't love nobody. They, they're really departed. You could come into this person's life and give this person some kind of hope, okay? And they could want to be intimate with you. And this intimacy is going to lead to this person feeling like they want to live again and do stuff again and be active in community. Whoever this is ain't active in no kind of community. They ain't doing shit. I don't know why I keep seeing a cave. What movie was this cave in? I'm trying to see. Okay, alchemy. You manifest everything you fucking want. Anything you fucking want, you just manifest it. If you say this is what the fuck you want, you put it on the universe, you get that shit. Mm -hmm. And you do this shit without showing your titties. You do this shit without giving nobody no dick. You do this shit without bribing people. You might give somebody something to drink. Is that something to drink? Yeah, you might give people like knowledge or something like that. Somebody could be 25. You could be 25. Okay, but you could be you could be selling teas or you want to sell some tea. Sell something here about tea. It's something here about tea. It's something here about hitting your toe on the side of the table. This table got these like weird handles. There's a crystal that you keep in your bra or somebody keeps crystals on them or in their bra or on their wrist, okay? You don't even know that you're keeping these crystals. Oh, you gave a crystal to someone too. Yeah. Okay, some of you Scorpios gave a crystal to this person. Yeah, some of you guys gave a crystal to this person to protect them. Something is over here about tea, too. You need to drink some tea. You got alchemy here. You manifest everything that you want, all right? So somebody about to be intimate with you because you manifested it. This is somebody, um, oh, yeah, this is somebody who tried to be unrequited with you. They about to love bomb you. So somebody loves you. Not one person. It could be up to nine. Nine people could love you. I know you like, what the fuck, Ashley? But I'm telling you the truth. I don't know who this is. But all these people felt like you said that they was unrequited or you said that they weren't enough or you did this when all of these people really love you scorpio okay uh you rejected these people but you manifest everything that you want okay whoever you are you manifest every fucking thing that you want and everything that's in your life you manifested it it says unrequited a lot of people love you all of the people that you are no longer with still are still madly in love with you this is exactly what this reading is saying they crave your intimacy they crave your energy they feel like they really clouded their judgment like a lot of the things that happen with you they they feel very stupid about it i don't know why your past is so intrigued by you at this time scorpio i don't know you could be having people pop up on your timeline like what is going on with this shit right here Okay, what is going on with this shit right here? But whoever this is, they want your intimacy. They want your love. They want your support. They want your compassion. It's it's, it's not matched by any. We're going to the tarot on this one because I'm like, 
what I'm required in reverse, this these are people who dated you and was like, yeah, I can't fuck with this person, but you are blowing up, <laughs> okay? So it's like, what the fuck? And they these people loved you. They just were so mad because they felt like you rejected them. That's why. That's why these people got like this. That's why these people wanted to revenge you up. But the revenge was not that, yeah. The, whoever these people are, they feel like you always gave them good-ass advice. Like, when they think back at you, they be like, man... The shit that we be on with you, it was just divine. So somebody always knew you were really spiritual. They feel like it's a good thing that you're in the spiritual community, okay? Because you was always good at helping people and, and people could always trust your answers or trust your response. And, you know, you always had traditional methods. So somebody also feels like you always stuck to what you knew really worked in your, in your life, you know? And whoever this is also feels like you had really good ideas all the time, you know, that wasn't just best for you, but best for the group. Like, you like, nigga, let's sit down and let's figure this out you know somebody always felt like you never pushed all the responsibility on them you shared it with them also you have somebody here that feels like they're not standing up for themselves so whoever this is they could be in a relationship and they've done wrong in this relationship and they feel like they can they have room to be punk and and men i'm gonna be real with y'all if you're dealing with a woman and you cheating on her and she's like i can go through your phone i can go through your shit bitch no she can't she can't and if she don't trust you, leave me alone. Y'all need to break up. I ain't trying to be disrespectful. You ain't got to take my advice. But I'm telling you, it ain't never going to stop. And she going to always feel like she got to watch you or monitor you. And she ain't your mama. So you need to just let that ride, you know, and start over. Because you cannot live your whole life being micromanaged. Y'all got to keep it 100 about that shit, okay? It will fucked up. She might not can't forgive you. And you got to understand that. Most of these women don't forgive you, right? They just don't want to go out here and look for another nigga that's going to do it again to their ass. Okay? It's just fear. And they really need to know you not the nigga. That's why you did it to their ass. You feel what I'm saying? It says stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power. But only choose your battles wisely. Okay? So Scorpios, you know, you be having a fight. But Spirit is telling you, you don't need to be out here hitting bitches with a bottle. You need to choose these fights wisely. Okay? Especially if it's your supervisor or some shit like this. Okay? I don't, I'm not good with, like, you know, being in a constructive environment. <laughs> My environment has to be loose. Okay? Okay? But I think that's just, I don't know if that's a Scorpio thing or what, but I can't, all right? House is here and thief, okay? Scorpio, be careful about letting motherfuckers in your house, especially thieves. Y'all might need to save your, save your house, okay? So don't let no thieves in your house at this time. I know you like what, but anybody that you suspect could be a thief or steal, okay? Um, this person could be acting like y'all good with each other, okay? Or y'all got good blood with each other, but there's some hidden bad energy here. Don't let this thief in your house at this time, okay? And it could have something to do with kids. So you could be friends with this person. You, you, your kid could play with this person, okay? Yeah, and you, you have expectations. This is something that you always knew was going on. So somebody that you let in your house is a thief, and they act like y'all cool, but y'all really not cool, and this guy has something to do with a kid, okay? And there's some kind of expectations. They're waiting on something, okay? Waiting on something to happen. Somebody is in despair, so somebody could be jealous of you, there's a thief that you might let around your house that acts like they're in good health with you. Something about your child and in despair in the community and sudden wealth. Somebody might not be happy that you could just, I don't know, support yourself, do all this stuff. They hate this shit. Yeah, somebody hate this shit. All right. Somebody hate that you you look like a role model to multiple people to them and they don't feel like they look like a role model in their life to their kid or to their community. Community here is in reverse. So somebody just feel like you look really good. You look like a better person or a better candidate to a community. I don't know. This is somebody who's all in their head about something that doesn't even make logical sense. Somebody is making it seem like you're outshining them. Everything reminds me of you, okay? Somebody is thinking about you. You also got a friend or your friend's friend or your friend's friend. I don't know how this is. It's a lot of people, and I don't want to confuse you guys, but somebody is looking at you, and you just look like an outstanding dad. Like, you do this. You show up. You know what I'm saying? You look sexy. You handsome as fuck. I mean, I don't know who you are, but introduce you to me, okay? You do all this stuff, you know what I mean? But they got a husband. And they husband don't do half the shit that you do. They don't have half the responsibilities that you do. And they can't live up to this. And they don't want their kid around you either because you look like an outstanding mom or an outstanding dad to their kid now. And they, they jealous of this. I don't know. It's weird. It's the weirdest thing. Everything reminds me of you. So somebody is always thinking about you, Scorpio. Okay. 
It says, no matter how hard I try, my thoughts always lead back to you. So, Scorpio, this person's thoughts always on you all the time. I don't give a fuck if they're playing basketball, they're thinking about you. Okay? They out here goddamn playing golf, they're thinking about you. Whatever they're doing, they're thinking about you all the time. They're going to sleep, they're thinking about you. Okay? It says, I keep dreaming about us together. I told you they go to sleep, they're thinking about you. So, somebody really wants to be with you. They just feel like this life is just coming closer and closer to them. These visions just seem kind of real. It seems like y'all supposed to be together. Okay? That's fine. Money. And this is somebody who's craving your intimacy. They're craving your energy. And they thought intimacy clouds your judgment. They thought being vulnerable with a woman or a man is, is weak. But somebody's like, mm -mm, I got to get this little weak nectar. I got to get it. Okay, so somebody just want to be all up underneath you, bruh. It says, I want I want to make you mine. Yeah, somebody's going to be like, can you be my boyfriend or my girlfriend? Check box, yes or no. Let me know what box you checks in, Scorpios. Let me know what box you guys are checking, okay? Let me know if you're getting cuffed up in the middle of the summer before cuffing season starts scorpio our birthday ain't even here yet what we finna be doing <laughs> bye y'all really profit but we'll sting if you get close huh? and they rule by planet mars they stay determined then don't go. go don't make a scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch so you better come correct because like a shark you can't get much scorpios get what they want and what they want is what they get That's they what appreciate they the ones they love they ain't what the fake shit uh -uh. they don't really like people switching up uh -huh. and they can't be kind of controlling like bitch Shut the fuck up. Shut Scorpios up. are leaders and they always think ahead. And they also open minded, so you gotta give them credit. Give if you they in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap in. Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio. You